Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Celestial Gold Winged Dragon Nation of New Lemuria Rising. Our local Solaris continues to go ballistic today, releasing one after another solar flare, CME, and flashes of higher dimensional light inundating Gaia and all her children of the sun with the crystalline codes of the new Jerusalem, ushering in the new era of peace and prosperity for all sentient beings of the way. Our sun in the heavens above ejected over 11 C-class solar flares and 5 M-class flares today with the most powerful being an M-class maxing at M6.57 at 350 UTC. We experienced a trinity of white spikes on the Schumann charts today with two higher pulses of resonance at amplitudes of 24 hertz and a big blast at 33 hertz. Code of Divine Mastery, the 633-6. The Angelic Liberation Alliance is with us to assist all Starseed ground crew of the 144 in our missions of planetary liberation to commence in this now. Synchronizing with these powerful events, we have another Galactic Activation Portal Day on the Mayan Zoltkin calendar. With Galactic Signature Key 96, Yellow Overtone Warrior, symbolic of our enlightened, peaceful warriors of our Rainbow Tribe of New Earth. The Ascension Wave has arrived, and we are shifting at Goddess speed now. This acceleration of consciousness is the quickening into the New Earth frequencies of 5D and beyond, into the infinite spatial awareness of timelessness. This is the merging of the nonlinear with the linear, emptiness with form through the now of zero point. We are consciously moving through the omega point, past the event horizon, to journey through the eye of the needle. This is eternity. Stay centered and fully present in your sacred heart center and allow your higher self at one with source to guide you to the kingdom of heaven within. Let go into the void in the clarity of Buddha mind of pure awareness and take the leap of faith into the unknown. The wings of the angels will catch you and carry you home. For I am the way, the truth, and the light, and it is with the almighty power of the I Am Presence that you realize the divinity of your sacred self and release all things out of alignment of the harmony of the spheres. The dove of the Holy Spirit flies free to lead you to the promised land, our divine birthright of freedom and peace in the kingdom of God upon the new earth pristine and beautiful like the shining star we all are. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul, White Gold Eagle, with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release very powerful new earth codes and a divine decree. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 14 degrees, 39 minutes Capricorn. The sun is at 19 degrees, 7 minutes Taurus. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 15 degrees Capricorn. In the hospital, the children's ward is filled with toys. And the current Sabian symbol for the sun at 20 degrees Taurus. Wisps of clouds like wings are streaming across the sky. From astrologyweekly.com And from divine brother of the light Holger Kirchhoff. Your radiant presence here now will change your world. For harmony and unity to go. And from divine sister of the light Ali Ray. Like Christ and Buddha, you may be tried and tempted, but you too will not succumb to the darkness. You will surrender fully to the light of love 
and walk upon the earth as a light in this world your heart knows glory 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 be love is love is love is god is god is god is and from divine broth or of the light roberto nunez a blessing is coming your way this week there is a strong masculine energy in the spiritual realm guiding and protecting you also helping you to succeed this week health plus money plus love plus peace plus light plus clean your feet and clean your crown protect both with lavender oil or prayer and from divine sister of the light linda lee dear family of love and light as you know per gaia's request the divine is going to continue carrying out the divine intervention the divine says that right now the divine intervention mainly focus on souls who have derailed from their spiritual path and the divine has the obligation to bring these souls back to their ascension path the divine says that light workers too also need the deep clearing so that the divine plan can move forward smoothly in the process the divine is able to move the divine plan forward and that way the souls who have been delayed in their ascension schedule will have a chance to catch up and fulfill their soul mission thank you for your hard work and staying in the heart know that the divine plan is unfolding exactly as designed all is well indeed divine blessings to you always linda lee gaia the divine and the company of heaven so it is and from divine angel of the light vrinda 888 freedom earth energies are increasing beyond measure light proton storms flood the earth and almost reached the top of the hit parade the last time this incredible northern light show took you around the world and we just had some strong class m flares this is a shift that is upgrading our dna for awakening heaven on earth is coming and from divine angel of the light twilight freedom daniel message there is a probable event of human ascension on the timeline in the next two to three years it is possible thus to bloom our internal plasmatic realities to a full experience of inner christed consciousness that will allow the ethermal eternal ethers and ethers to blend as fire ice union unison occurs in the fields of the aurora ascension earth we are thus possible to re-experience god's source as pure cognizance within the human vessel and allow that source flow of infinite plasma pre-plasma river of love unconditional eternal to express itself through us amen to such a probability becoming reality project free the knowledge and from divine sis star of the light christina morichetti post eclipse corridor the sun fire of our soul is on we are constantly urged in these days and hours by solar plasmatic movements that lead to activating crystal processes inside of us in order to discard the old belief system that still vibrates in us and to activate more and more the connection with what we truly are physical body and emotional body vibrate very intensely the ascension flow in which we have entered marks a new entry new important achievements a point of no return in which what we are observing in ourselves if we truly desire it and if welcomed from a space of total responsibility can bring evolutionary movements that were not possible before exactly because this step of activation of consciousness is leading many only now to understand deep into the cellular tissue some aspects of human existence some facets of self and how the multi-dimensional human really and truly works it's called the awakening on different levels of the being the focus now is the loving observation and without judgment of the egoistic movements that belong to us and are summoned and at the same time the understanding of how essential presence is 
to be able to let everything flow from a space of non-separation where intercepted separation becomes the tool through which, with the maximum of patience and humility to enter, the channel that leads to the essence of everything. Because separating, we forgot our true nature, and starting from separation and resistance and wanting to see and wanting to hear, it is from that space that the reconnection begins. And from there, once the resistance is over, doors open, portals open, the heart vibrates in oneness with the universe. We are everything and everything is us. The messages come clear, precise, crystal clear. The higher self transmits a continuous flow that is only pure love, pure light, pure divine essence. In us activating for telepathic connection, vision, intuition, everything is synchronous and simultaneous in the absence of time and space. With simplicity, with joy, and through channels that transcend any human thought. With immense love, Christina, from the mind to the heart, through the portals of our DNA, entering the emotional vortices, consciously beyond the resistance, entering separation to access the oneness of all. And from divine growth of the light, Graham Forscott, May 11th, Galactic Center Admin, Twin Flames. Those born around the 11th will have this connection to our galactic center. There is a pulse arriving from the galactic center to our planet every 718 minutes, two minutes short of 12 hours. Planets that are passing these 10 decagon, Amenti, I am 10, Akashic Records, nodes linked to the galactic center during these days include Transneptunians, 5D archetypes, Varda and Dizawania. Centaur, Solarius, asteroid called DNA. Varda, the queen of heaven in Tolkien's mythology, creator of heaven and earth, is an empath, promotes and involved in the union of twin flames. Varda will spend the next few years slowly passing the galactic center. Dizwiania is the Slavic goddess of nature and Anastasia, 5D relationship to the earth we are creating. Solarius has an eye for beauty and could create beauty with his hands, music, sculptures, sometimes hands-on healing like massage. Asteroid DNA, 144 degree from galactic center node. If you're hearing this, then you'll know. From GalacticAstrologyAcademy.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Emmanuel Prius. As you are integrating new energies, it is important to be in a state of reception and allow information to flow to you. You can feel anxious to be in the new and desire to create your realities from these frequencies, but you must be willing to receive. This preparation is vibrational in nature. You can't see it. If you force yourself by pushing with your mind to fill in this feeling of doing nothing, of being inefficient and unproductive, the new will distance itself from you as you will temporarily disconnect from alignment with these new energies. It is by listening within that you will recognize these new energy windows. These moments where guidance comes alone, like this, without effort. This guidance often manifests itself when you vibrate in divine neutrality, with no judgment or expectation of what's up in your current reality. Instead of waiting for something, be in the vibrations of your here and now and allow frequencies to flow through you. They are guiding you the way and not the other way around. And from Divine Cis Star of the Light, Divine Feminine 77, 77, 144 coming in. You will receive information and guidance about your next step soon. You will get a clearer direction in the way to proceed on your journey. You have the need to know what is going on and how to move forward, but sometimes you are blindfolded and you are in the dark about your next step. Sometimes this is the only way for you to be able to stop and go within and listen. 
Just be present in your life and don't think about what, how, and when you should do something. Focus on yourself right now. You will receive the answers that you need soon. You may suddenly wake up with an idea, or you might think about something that you haven't thought before, or you might receive information and signs that will give you answers and guidance. But now is not the time for you to look for messages around you. Now is the time to go within and be with yourself. Listen to the silence of your soul. You will experience what you need to experience within to be able to create something that feels good in your heart and clear something else that doesn't feel good anymore or is not in your best interest. Expect events that will make a difference in your life. Things will be significant and will make your life better. You will be able to choose objectively. The decisions won't be emotional. You will be able to connect to your soul, step into your power, and speak your truth. Significant changes ahead. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Judith Kuso, To rise above it all, before we were born, we were briefed about what life would be like on this planet. Add to this, we all knew that the old earth would cease to be and that the new earth would be born. As souls, as we were so excited, as this was unprecedented, and more importantly, it provided the golden opportunity for all the old souls, those who are in their final incarnation, to finally complete mission, and at the same time ascend and gain in highest mastery. So many of us old souls often had the most challenging lifetimes on earth, for we were often holding the light steady in the midst of supreme darkness, persecuted and killed. Of course, the soul lives on, and even though they killed our bodies, they never could stamp out the light as much as they tried. Whatever we sowed then in seed pockets of supreme light and unconditional love is now gestating into the ultimate soul calling to step even higher in selfless service with great love. As old souls, we have witnessed and experienced it all. We have been there. We have played out the actor's role on the stage of planetary life. We have been both saints and sinners, kind and cruel, loving and mean, and we have experienced life in its darkness as much as in the light. Yet all of this was but a preparation for what we now are asked to transfigure into and indeed finally leave all those past and present lives behind, thanking each lifetime and each actor's role for serving our highest soul growth and good, and now allow ourselves to truly lead from the front with great love. After all, that is why we were forerunners, the ones who incarnated since 1950 and up until 1994, and we certainly knew what we were letting ourselves into. Yet also at the same time, not one of our highest guides could tell us exactly what would happen, for as said, this has never happened before. Add to this that every soul has free will and choice. Your own free will choices determine the outcome. In truth, we all create our own reality through the choices we make. As a soul, one cannot ever get past the divine law of responsibility. You are responsibility for your own free will choices and for what you co-create through them. Yet to me, this momentous present moment is one where we, as old souls, will be asked to rise even higher, to step into the total unknown and now be brave enough to lead from the front. There is no set path, yet the outcome has already been divinely decreed and determined. It is matter now of using our inner guidance systems, our faith, our deep inner knowing to navigate the unknown. And with it comes a state of exploration, even inquisitiveness, the childlike trust that even as we explore, all the tools we need to navigate through and co-create the new are already in place. More than this, that we are supported through this all by all the ascended hosts, angelic realms, and of course the divine within. Yes, it is exciting, yet also daunting in some sense, as we still need to navigate through the old earth as well. The trick is to rise above the old earth and allow your cosmic wings to lift you higher than ever before. 
We have gained the wisdom of many lifetimes, parallel lives in other galaxies, star systems, universes, and of course our own galaxies of origin, to which our souls are eternally attached and tuned in. Many of us are highly evolved souls, and now is the time to delve deeper into the eternal wisdom and knowledge of the soul itself. As fully supported by the Oversoul and Monad Soul Group, some of us belong to the cluster soul groups which make up the 144,000 souls, and thus have even more support in all and every form and way. To me, this is a total rebirth in all and every form and way. Transcending the old having, it is now that we will be challenged to remember, to apply our inner soul knowledge, and to bring our unique gifts, talents, and abilities to the fore. Even now, as we lead humankind by stepping into the unknown and inventing the new in co-creative and unifying ways with great love, to complete mission is indeed now of the utmost importance. And we will be reminded of this daily in the next few days and years. It is only with the heart and soul that one can do this, and the heart and soul can expand cosmically. The finite mind cannot and we are now stepping beyond the human mind, into the totality of the vast expanse of cosmic consciousness, which is unlimited. From JudithKusel.com From Divine Sistar of the Light Raylene Brady Aurora and Tell Energy Update We only get what we are ready for, no more, no less. Aurora's axiotonal dragon line and acupuncturing upgrades of such nodal points both within and without. Vertical equal access all areas within omnidimensional as triquatra overlays. Our innate spiritual technology coming online at a rate of knots as the aperture of our polar gates reach neutral charge, yin-yang unification and our equatorial regions create null zones as safety nets for aurora connector points in which ions become briefly trapped and travel down the vertical axis of magnetic field lines and are drawn towards both the north and south pole entry, exit gates of our inner sun within our inner earth. These plasmic charged ions interact with gases within the earth's atmosphere, and create the bright colored and moving lights we see. Green and red light of the emerald and ruby orders, produced by oxygen and blue and purple light, is produced by nitrogen. Aquamarine ultraviolet frequency wave spectrum expansion through the threefold heart flame, manifesting as dimensional spectral tritone wave patterns of expression and experience moving us beyond bifurcation and lower astral bleed-through hologram realities. Our aurora aspects within the higher astral planes are interfacing with us as the Holy Spirit of the Ascending Dove alchemical anchors. Princess Aurora is the cosmic Holy Spirit birthing divine creatrix field patterning of advanced architecture, bridging consciousness and interfacing with the inner Holy Spirit via the ignition of the Holy Flame seated within the high heart of the thymus gland through the Mother Ark's staff principle in density. This is a living consciousness portal system that has been gifted to us as a fail-safe to protect this planetary creation. In this way, the aurora rainbow of our innate Antakarana bridge is reforming. There we are anchoring realities within a simultaneous micro-macro process for personal and planetary upgrading. The mythical realms too are reopening to us without the interference frequency bandwidth of duality reality and polarity, pull of the lower astral mind hijacking and accumulation of unintegrated emotional debris. Aurora elementals are wind sylphs governed by air. There is a grand purification taking place at this juncture as we release and recapture our distilled quintessence five as one principle. I am being shown that these are natural anti-gravity points 
and allow for the true alpha omega looping of time in a figure eight pattern in this way the rate of dissolution of synthetic molecules and inorganic hologram realities including illusory play of polarity pull and duality reality are greatly affected i then read according to dr clark the point at the center of the bow tie becomes a magnetic null zone of zero gravity when appropriately triggered by the right geometric positions of the sun moon and planets to the earth many years ago i was shown a calendar not governed by clocks but of cosmic consciousness streams that is linked in with the sun moon and stars in a triune state of being which we are cycling back into direct relation with via the holographic field of the earth star and us in those moments of conjunction there is a hyperdimensional bleed through and when we then access time dilations the acupuncturing of our earth with the aurora lattice is in direct relation to the technology we are observing and experiencing as the quickening time dilation allows us to remain in a state of suspended animation which is the bedrock of omnidimensional principles and participation our solar plasma body is our higher mental body as we increase the aperture of our spin path we shift gears with harmonizing carbon crystalline ratios the aurora phenomenon is the increase of spectral wave patterning within the noosphere and the plasmic ratio within our oceans hydroplasma of which the cetacean nation until now has been diligently and lovingly holding open on our behalf the oceanic star mirrors and oceanic grid architecture since the last great fall of both landmass and consciousness this is why it is imperative that we remain in the now as the collapsing of time as we have related to its enters metamorphosis the scepters of our sovereignty and guardianship are in the now ours to reclaim our right relationship with radiation is restoring and igniting our god spark through the divine gold prince of grace and godhood through authentic lineage ask and you shall receive as we reside on a free will planet remember free will and all we are re-encrypting our aurora elemental nature within omnidimensionality just as our earth mother is implementing as we are made up of her elements we are reassembling in like kind realizing this is how we remain equipoised and unequivocally anchor in the knowing that this is a done deal in this way any and all miasmic interference holograms dissolve with every plasmic infusion we receive from the great solar ring in union with our beloved gaia galactica i was shown a few decades ago that there is a vertical horizontal and diagonal spiraling that interlocks and increases our propulsion this is what joshua was actually activating not the crucifixion guilt trip shadow play holding pattern overwrites we've been fed this was originally offered as a healing system and grid work patterning to ignite what is known as the radiance force our angelic codex of symbolic coding which ignites the innate fire letter language from within we are viewed as radiance and commune through our inner symbology and outer symbiosis the aurora is now appearing in unusual places all around our planet is the land now awakening and the primordial vertical horizon crossover points of elliptical orbital exchange transitioning diagonally these are the originator gate safety zones feeding our new true earth grid platforms set up by our past future selves anchoring in the now the vertical acupuncturing of the axiotonal dragon lines via aurora architecture is awakening in response to our innate alchemical bonding and anchoring of solar magnetism through our fields and forms and as the remembrance of ourselves as eternal light spirit soul spark of the divine flame every step we take on the earth as a source guided sovereign soul 
creates the quickening. Step forth in response to the call. We are moving at the speed of thought. Therefore, we are co-creating and reanimating as guardians of the galaxy, sovereigns of the earth, the divine foundational pillars that true earth gently rest upon. We are shifting from ultraviolet radiation to gamma rays, which have the highest energies, the shortest wavelengths, and the highest frequencies. The arrival has commenced. We are the ones we've been waiting for returning to us now this is no longer a test run or a rerun we are well and truly on the home rise and shine homo luminous rise and shine from soul-quintessence.com and from divine sister of the light carolyn 144 god code we have the opportunity to expand our thoughts into higher consciousness you are equipped to see that you can accomplish bigger and better than ever contemplated, with support and success. Anything holding you back is being forced out through triggers, purging, and detoxing. It's all to get our minds right, beloveds. It's important to stand up for yourself and your beliefs with confidence. The universe is fully helping you in living a peaceful, joyful life. Don't give others the power that prevents this any longer. Take the lead by putting all your attention on your goals with laser focus. Rely on yourself and be your own cheerleader. By doing so, you will witness your gifts and abilities flourish. God bless you. Love, Carolyn. From 144godcode.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Colleen Lemma. Today the sun, ruler of our life force energy, is connecting with Uranus, the great awakener, as they both travel through earth sign Taurus. Typically Taurus is patient, grounded, steadfast, and secure, but today this slow and stable energy may be given a jolt of electricity with the presence of Uranus. We may desire freedom, independence, and liberation, or perhaps we want to make a change or redirect our course in some way. Uranus is about the future. He is the rebel and the revolutionary. He shakes things up and shakes things loose. We may feel inspired, innovative, restless, and willful. Our higher intuition and creativity is on fire. We could experience a sudden breakthrough regarding a situation or circumstance in our life. Welcome in this unpredictable and exciting energy, if only for the day. Step out of the box of your comfort zone and do something different. Blessings of love and light to all. And from here in the moon astrology, May 9th, 2023, this is what it feels like to be brilliantly, achingly alive. Alive in the shatter, alive in the empty. This is what it is to belong to things we cannot possibly understand. This is what it is to trust in the terrifying wisdom of our own becoming. Jeanette Leblanc Perfect words to describe the huge transpersonal energies that are going to overshadow and uplift us from now right through to the next two eclipses in October. It begins with today's electrifying conjunction of the sun and sky god Uranus at 18 degrees Taurus, with the sea god Neptune at 27 degrees Pisces, squaring the karmic point of the supermassive black hole of the galactic center, nearly continuously between now and 2026. Then on May 16th, the ground shakes as great expansionist Jupiter enters the Buddha sign of Taurus for the first time since 2011 aligning with Pluto the Great Eliminator and Aquarius. This is real personal and collective evolution playing itself out, not just in fine words or some spirituality light dream, but in the day-to-day -day nexus of your own life. Things can get done, progress can be made. It is not happening to you, you are happening to it. Be ready for inspirations, insights, and inklings that seem to come out of nowhere, but actually arise from the center of our Milky Way galaxy, a.k.a. Source. Recognize that Source is an open, morphic field, and it is alive. 
Send your consciousness out ahead like a scout, remote viewing all the roads that are available and viable. This is not a mind thought process. You cannot understand what is still in imminence in the quantum realm. Identify which random attractor has the most pull, the most resonance, the most click. Trust it, then move forward. Master the skill of sensing, feeling, intuiting, and grokking. From here in the moon astrology.co.uk And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Leah, White Horse. Sun conjunct Uranus and Taurus. Mars and Cancer, sextile Ceres and Virgo. Wake up, wake up, shouts the sky. It's a new day and everything has changed. Or everything can change. What do you want? What do you wish? It's time for a radical reset to free your spirit, to live your purpose. Yes, nerves may jangle, but let's interpret that as excitement rather than anxiety. It's all the same as far as the body's concerned. Revolutionize your life by detaching from the outcome. Use your resources in new ways. Reinvent yourself. Be a rebel. Color outside the lines. Be a tall poppy. Embrace your difference. Plug in, charge up, upgrade your personal software, rewrite those old programs so that you can have new experiences and grow organically. Life can be different if you desire, so be brave and take one small step toward your goals. Pat yourself on the back for every tentative move forwards. Feel your way, but also remember that you don't have to feel like doing something just to get it done. Practice makes perfect. Hone your skills. Sharpen your response time. If you feel frazzled, ask yourself, what can I do to help or where can I be of service? Community and connection provide support and grounding. Be spontaneous. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zoltkeen Times, Keen 96, Yellow Overtone Warrior. Overtone is the name for the number five and its keywords are empower, radiance, and command. The fifth day of a wave spell is always powerful and its effect on the day are formidable. Whatever day it combines with the number five adds significant intensity and strength. Much can be accomplished on overtone days. The first day of this wave spell was yellow human and so we are adhering to the agenda set that day. The fifth day really pushes that agenda along. Today is Yellow Warrior and its keywords are intelligence, questioning, and fearlessness. It's a crazy intense combination today as the Yellow Overtone Warrior is one of the most powerful warriors in the whole Zolkeen. This is perfect if you have a quest to go on or a mission to undertake. Warrior invites you to be fearless and the number five gives you power. I highly recommend taking on a quest, as with all this energy around, choosing not to do anything will result in restlessness and frustration, and there is a likelihood of this energy turning into arguments. Don't go on the warpath, but instead, harness this energy and do something useful with it. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Overtone Warrior, 5 Keeb. Key 96, 9th of May 2023, the most radiant warrior of them all. 9 5 2023 equal 9 5 7 equal 9 12 equal 9 3 equal 12 equal 3. 9 Divine Destiny Service Grace Mission Humanity Completion. 12 Acquiring Strength Wisdom. 3 Holy Trinity Joy Creativity. Month Year Codes. 5. Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation. 7. Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Solitude, Initiation. 12. Acquiring Strength, Wisdom. 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 23. Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, Support. Key 96 equal 15 equal 6. Code 6 equal Heaven, Christ Consciousness, Harmony, Love, Romance, Galactic Activation Portal. Another intensely potent day of divine power to fuel our global quest for peace. Day 5 in the Yellow Human Wave Spell of Wisdom 
influence, intelligence, free will, and abundance. Today is a day of empowerment where we use our intelligence and free will to question everything in our world in order to make better choices, leading to better outcomes for all. Tone of creation, overtone, tone five in the spiritual realm, action commands, power empowers, essence radiance. Number five represents the center, core purpose, foundation, and central intent. It is the center of the wheel from which all the spokes emanate. This is the phase where the energy of creation returns to the center and then radiates outwards. Overtones command the unbounded. They order it to be and so it becomes. Their power radiates from their soul essence through a pure connection to source. This is the true source of unlimited power. The overtone warrior is a spiritual warrior and draws on the power of spirit through serving in God's army. They are peaceful, but strong and courageous in their admirable resolve and principles, using the power of love, compassion, and the sword of truth as their weapon in seeking harmony and equality for all. The old game is over. It is time to write a new script. Take command of your life today. As the red serpent governs fire and kundalini energy, you may choose to use fire. Fire burning, walking, light a candle, or use yoga, chakra balancing, healing. Whatever method you choose, make sure you command your intention with supercharged focus on your outcome. Today's questions are, what survival issues do I need to finally surrender and let go in order to command back my power and seed my new beginning, blossoming into my fullest potential? How can we collectively as a rainbow tribe become more empowered and radiate our light, categorically rejecting the old matrix and seeding the better world we want to live in? To all those fearless rainbow warriors, who have been battling with darkness, today is the day to reclaim your power, connect with Source, and radiate that brilliant luminescence, expanding so strongly that all darkness melts and dissolves in your divine omnipresence. Divine gratitude to all the global rainbow warriors for fearlessly walking their true path and holding the dream of our euphoric planetary unification as one rainbow tribe. Victory to the light. What a phenomenal day. Divine blessings for commanding back your full divine radiant power. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 96, Yellow Overtone Warrior. The mantra the code for today is... I am power and order to question, commanding fearlessness. I seal the output of intelligence. With the overtone tone of radiance, I am guided by the power of flowering. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sis Star of the Light and R. Davis for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you and your support. I'd like to also thank Divine Brothor of the Light, Adam Brennan, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brothor. We appreciate you and your continued support. And we'd like to also thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Mariana Buriana. For another donation and your continued support 
Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We're very grateful for all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you. So we're grateful for each and every one of you. 444 coming in. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe account. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful code and divine decree from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Sandra Walter. Full support for a new light level, new trajectories, and new experiences of love, light, intelligence have been delivered with the Equinox Eclipse Gateways. Hearts are recalibrated to shine this more refined, truer self. And this continues to reveal more, more, more. If you are feeling overwhelmed by infinite possibility returning to your life stream, clear the reality slate and start with core intentions. Pause your habitual way of creating your moments. Breathe and meditate on your heart as a conduit of source. Let the presence reveal the higher trajectory right now, moment by moment. Because ascension. And now for the divine decree. I embrace my return to the infinite I am presence. I walk in these worlds as the I am presence of the divine. I am an organic conduit of the miraculous love light intelligence of source. From ascensionpath.com. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed rest of your week ahead as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.